Hello, and welcome to PA Career Link's virtual workshop on navigating the PA Career Link website. So, who are we? PA Career Link works hard to bring job seekers and employers together. Our business specialists are ready to help employers find the right people for their businesses and to help job seekers find the right careers to fit their needs. PA Career Link is part of the Pennsylvania Department of Labor and Industries initiative to transform the landscape of how job seekers find family sustaining employment and how employers find the skills candidates that they need. So for job seekers in the PA Career Link website, job seekers have access to over 200,000 job openings. You can create and upload a resume and make yourself available to thousands of employers. A Career Link will also recommend jobs for you based on your preferences. One exciting feature is a capture of all your job search activities within PA Career Link. Also, you have the ability to record all outside job search activities all in one place for free. Um, so, a little overview on what I'm going to be going over with you today how to edit, download, and upload PA Career Link resumes, job searching and applying on the website job search activities and how to record them, and other career ser services offered within the website. So let's start navigating. Um, you're gonna wanna pull up our website. It's www.pacareerlink.pa.gov. When you first pull up the website, it's gonna ask you to sign in. Um, you're going to need your Keystone ID and your password. You cannot remember your Keystone ID, please call the office for staff assistance, or if you have forgotten your password and need help um, resetting the password, also call the office because we are able to do that over the phone. Editing, downloading a PA Career Link resume. Um, so first, once you're signed in, you're going to come to the screen, which is known as your dashboard. Board, you're going to select the My Job Search button. It's going to bring down this drop down box and you're going to click on Resume List. Once you hit that Resume List button, it's going to bring you to this screen, which shows you then your PA Career Link resume. Now, first, we're going to talk about editing it. Um, so, what you're going to do is you're going to select that. Um, where it says actions and select, you're going to click that drop down box and it's going to bring up an option to edit it. And then you're going to select that and then press go. Once you press go, it's going to bring you to the screen. Um, and then to edit it, you're just going to hit that pencil right there that I have circled. So if you need to update your name, your contact information, all your information on your resume can be edited with that little pencil button. Now to download it, um, once you have it um, selected up at the top where it says review and print, you're going to then select that print slash download resume and select the PDF um, selection. Um, we always suggest um, saving your resume as a PDF, especially if you're on a public computer. Also, if you plan on uploading your resume to an employer's website, you want to make sure you're uploading a PDF and not a document. Um, a document can be edited and changed, whereas a PDF cannot. This just makes sure that all your information is correct when the employer receives it. Um, once you hit that PDF button, um, it's going to download it, and then you're going to have a screen at, or a pop-up box like this. Um, at the bottom of your screen, you're going to go ahead and select that. Once you do that, it's going to open it up for you. Um, so this is what it looks like. Um, from here, you can either print, um, but you can see what it looks like to the employer. Next, we're going to talk about uploading a self-created resume and other documents, such as a cover letter. Um, so back at your resume list, 
um, to add your self-created resume or cover letter, you're going to click on the Add Existing Resume. It's going to bring up this screen for you, um, and you have to accept the terms and conditions. Um, I would suggest giving it a name so you know that it's your self-created resume. Um, and then you're going to upload your document and then click Save. Once you do that, it will show up on your resume list. So how to track your job search through the PA Career Link website. When you go to My Job Search, um, back on your dashboard, you're going to select the Job Applications button. Once you do that, it's going to give you a list of all the applications you have submitted um, through the website. It's going to give you the job number, the job title, who the employer was, if they are a registered employer with the PA Career Link, when you submitted it, and you can also view which resume you submitted. Um, so this is sometimes helpful if you have a um, curated resume towards um, a certain line of work. Um, say you have a lot of restaurant and um, also factory work and you're submitting a job to um, a factory, you're going to want to highlight your relevant experience. Um, so that's why having um, curated resumes towards specific jobs are helpful. Um, so to track your job search activities, you're going to hit that my job search button again and then job search activities um, from here you're going to see um, a list of the different activities um, you can search um, by time frame as well um, it's going to show you the number of applications that you've applied to here on the website job websites you visited number of days with the job search employers contacted job fairs attended networking, resumes posted to other websites, other activities, civil service slash pre-employment tests completed, and then it's going to calculate all your activities. So if you would like to add a new activity, you'd click that Add New Activity button. Um, if you're going to add an outside job search activity, you would hit that Add New Activity button and then select job search or job application and then you could put in your information and it'll keep track of it all. Next we're going to talk about job searching and applying through the PA Career Link website. On your dashboard up at the top there there's a search bar. Um, I always type in 16901 and then click search. Once you do that it's going to give you a list of all the jobs Within, I have my distance set at 25 miles. You can obviously make that more, or you can search by the date posted or county. Um, I had scrolled down a little too far when I took this screenshot, but up at the top, you will see another search bar, and there's a button up there that says registered employers. I suggest um, making sure that box is checked. Um, that will only list registered employers with the PA career link. You'll see that with this little um, orange shield sign. Um, those are um, employers that register with us and have us post their job postings. Um, we know they're, in fact, legit employers and not a scam. So I always suggest uh, making sure that box is checked. Um, next, so say I put in my search for 16901 and I see a job posting here for a lumber handler and I'm interested in that position. I would go ahead and click on that job posting. Once I do that, it's going to bring me to this screen. Um, it's going to give you um, some more information about the job, where it's located, um, how many days ago it was posted, the job number. Um, sometimes it'll show the rate per hour, how much experience is needed, if you need any formal schooling, if commission is offered, and the schedule. This is a 40 hour per week job. It's a day shift and it's full time. Um, if I was interested in this position, I would hit the apply now button. Once I do that, it's going to bring me to this screen. You're going to select the resume you would like to submit. 
and a cover letter, and then you would submit the application. Um, now, I didn't actually submit the, my application for this um, because I didn't want to trigger the website that I was applying, um, nor did I actually want to apply to the position. Um, so if I hit that Submit Application button, there's going to be another screen that shows you um, more information or more instruction. Um, so sometimes the employer requires you to call them when you've submitted your application on the PA Career Link. Sometimes it will direct you to the employer's website where you have to then um, submit more information. Um, so just be aware that sometimes there are additional instructions after you apply through our website. Next, we're going to talk about the other career-related services that are offered through our website. Um, so to get to the career services page, you're going to go back to your dashboard and it says career services. Um, from that drop down, you have veteran services, career resources, career tools, overview, skills assessments, career videos, career exploration, interview training, military translator, training opportunities, and programs and services. Um, so the veteran services, um, this helps you translate your military skills and experience to civilian. Um, so it's just a helpful tool if you had been in the military. It helps you um, convert those skills and um, positions. Next is career resources. Um, you can look at a lot of different um, things on this page, the PA job market data. Um, you can also locate other PA career link offices. Um, you can look at career tools, one-stop services, job seekers with disabilities, a lot of good different information on this page. Next is the career tools overview. Um, so this is where you can assess your transferable job skills um, and it uses a program called TORC. Um, so what this does is say you are looking to change your career path. Um, this will assess your job skills that you already have from other positions that you've already worked. Um, and lets you know of what types of training or anything like that you may need to be able to successfully um, work in your new career path. Skills assessment. So this helps you assess your transferable job skills. Um, and it gives you a skills gap analysis and education. Um, so if you do need to do any type of training um, for a new career path. It'll let you know and give you training providers. So it's a very helpful tool if you are looking for a different career path. Um, career videos. So this is really good if you're looking for a change in your career. Um, you can watch job shadow videos. Um, so you get to really see what it's like um, to work in that career before you decide to take the leap and change your careers. Career exploration. Um, this, you would do a career assessment um, to see which careers would be right for you based on your interests um, and likes. Um, and then it also gives you local career data um, that you can take what your results would be and compare it to your local area. Interview training. Um, so if you need to brush up on your interviewing skills, this is a very good resource. Um, it uses a video called The Big Interview. Um, and you can also do practice interviews um, with frequently asked questions in interviews um, and then random interview questions. So that helps you learn how to think on your feet in an interview. Next is the military translator. Um, so this translates your military occupation into civilian. So for example, I typed in radio chief and the results are radio operators. Next is training opportunities. Um, so I just typed in 16901 in his search. Um, I have the distance, it's 25 miles. It gives me the course titles, who provides them, how long the outcome is, um, whether it's a cer certificate or a degree, 
um, and the estimated cost. You can also look by program type, um, county, city, um, the title of the course, who the provider is, delivery method, Pell Grant, eligible, and cost. Next is program and, and services. So if you were wanting to request services from the PA Career Link, you would click this button. You'll put the reason for a referral. Um, so say you need help um, with your resume, you could put that. Next, you would be asked to select um, a program. You do have to select at least one. Um, so with resume help, it'd be job search assistance. Um, you can also select education and training if you are interested in getting a call about programs that offer that. Um, if you are a veteran and looking into veterans programs. Um, foreign trade affected job loss, that's trade. Um, and Office of Vocational Rehabilitation or OBR. Um, and then you would hit request services. Um, that would go to a staff member here in the P PA Career Link that works with um, those programs and they would be able to reach out to you and set up an appointment or just a phone call if necessary. If you have any questions on this presentation or any questions in general, job seekers are encouraged to contact the office with any questions, our contact information and hours of operation can be found on our Facebook page at pacorelink.tioga.